in July after D-Day. We, we had made great progress. And I'm out doing a reconnaissance. And I had uh, three people with me guarding me. And uh, I came across this staff car rushing down the road, German staff car, top down, two people in the front seat, three in the back. And I'm very low, I can almost touch them. I didn't know who they were at all, I had no idea. But you figured it was somebody important. Well, absolutely, he's in a staff car for heaven's sake, yeah. and you all kinds of brass. Yeah. So what I did was what I was really told to do. I didn't attack him, I call on the radio to group headquarters behind on the lines are to report the location of this staff car, yeah. which I did. Yeah. And r reality was, as we found out after the war, the uh, headquarters people brought in a Spitfire to the point where that I had given them, shot up this car, and the man in the front seat of the car who was badly injured as a result of getting shot up was a man called Phil Marshal Erwin Rommel, the great yes. German general. The first shell hit the driver of the, of the car and killed him. The car then went off the road, hit a stump, and the man in the passenger seat, his head was turned this way, watching what was coming on behind him. And when the car hit the stump, his head was turned, his head hit the windscreen post on the side. It was Rommel, he loved to be in the front seat to map read, and he was on his way from the head, uh, his, his Panzer headquarters to his headquarters on the Seine River up near Paris. So that's where he was going. So what happened to him was that he uh, was almost killed, the impact uh, on the on the uh, windscreen post was intense, and he survived. And they, but it took him out of the picture. They got him to the uh, Luftwaffe hospital uh, close by, and he then went back to his home in Ulm, Germany, to recuperate, which he ultimately did. Yeah, but this was a huge loss to Hitler, thanks oh, to you. Oh, a huge hop. But Hitler also thought that that Rommel had been part of the plot that occurred the next two days where a big bomb was exploded in Hitler's headquarters. Right. So and that event was that close? It was that, that to close time-wise. Time-wise, okay. And Hitler eventually was convinced by the SS that Rommel had been part of the plot to kill him. So in October, when Rommel was come, ready to come back to command, uh, Hitler decided that he would send a, a couple of young generals with two pills to Rommel, which he did, which they did. And the letter from Hitler said, I believe that you were part of the plot to kill me. They have cyanide pills. If you take one of the pills and kill yourself, it will be said that you died of injuries, and uh, you'll be given a full state funeral, your wife will be protected, and your son, and if you don't take the pill, uh, you'll be stripped of your rank forthwith, and given uh, a, a trial for treason, and uh, your wife will not be protected, nor will your son. So he took the pill and killed himself.